My name is Sharif Uluwa Bingajimo. I'm from Nigeria and currently I'm undergoing the Copernicus Master in Data Art. That is the joint master um, with the University of Salzburg and Palaki University, Olomo in Czech Republic. And my specialization track is geovisualization and geocommunication. My participation at the Global Monitoring for Environment and Security in Africa, that is GMES and Africa conference, really exposed me to art observation and Copernicus services and how it has been leveraged to solve uh, and mitigate environmental problem in Africa and the world as a whole. So looking at this, I am so optimistic and eager to learn more about art observation and this made me to apply to the Copernicus master's program. I am Stephanie Tomampos from the Philippines and I am currently taking Copernicus master's in digital earth program with a geodata science track. I have a background in applied physics and I also took my master's degree in environmental engineering back in the Philippines. One of the motivations I had while applying for this program is my drive to actually use Copernicus system towards solving many issues in my country. As my country is one of the most vulnerable in the world, I believe that the Copernicus system can help me craft research and measures to help solve these problems. Aside from this, there are so many interesting topics that can cover under the Copernicus Master in Digital Earth program. I believe those are my motivations in applying for this program. I have a very keen interest in GIS remote sensing. I am very passionate about humanitarian activities and as such I want to be a humanitarian. I believe one of the reasons the program board chose me to be part of their first intake is because of my motivation and determination to utilize this technology to solve many issues and for the better good. I think one of the contributions I'm giving to the program, aside from my academics, is my position as student representative of the program. The current pandemic gave both the faculty and students uh, a challenge but the transition was smooth to online learning. I believe for me, I have been doing a lot of online classes by the day and I usually study at night. The COVID-19 has really changed the way we do things. During the lockdown, mm -hmm. it was not easy to have physical, social gathering. During the pandemic, we were mostly meeting online and Personally, I have been doing sports activities such as running since it was allowed by the government. Most of the time during the winter semester, we were inside classrooms and we were inside Techno Z, which is the, uh, the venue of our classes. I usually hang out with my friends, my classmates, to discuss about things like academics. In the winter semester, most of my study times were spent in the classroom and then in the lab. So because I had a lot of assignments, presentations to do. After graduating from the Copernicus Master Program, I will desire to further my studies by applying for PhD positions in geospatial field. I to uh, use what I've learned in a working environment to solve uh, art-related problem or mitigate environmental problem in Africa. After graduation, I have always wanted to take a higher notch in my academic career. I, wanted to, I want to take a PhD program, which is in line with what I will be doing in my research in this program. I hope to achieve my ambitions. Uh, it's, it, it will be something great, and I hope to be of use to the society. Of course, uh, my main priority is always to go back to the Philippines and work there to help the society. But if there are opportunities to work in a larger scale in an international environment where I can, where I can contribute more of my abilities and my technical, technical skills, that would be more preferable.